robotic surgery didn't come to general surgery for actually quite some time after it had already been in urology uh, and OBGYN. I was not a convert. I decided I wanted to get into performing robotic surgery because I felt it was an evolutionary step. The tools have just become phenomenal. For the longest time, I was skeptical. It took a new generation of the robot to come out. We know minimally invasive was a big step forward, and we know that uh, doing it robotically now is, in a sense, a bigger step. Our tools are better, more sophisticated. Our ability to get into certain nooks and crannies safely is a, a good step for the patient. The top three advantages that I see from the Da Vinci surgical system start off first with safety. It increases the safety of the patient to perform operations. The second one, staying along with the patient, is less bleeding. Third advantage would be better recovery, faster recovery, less pain after surgery, less need for medication, and less time in the hospital. The robot's not doing the surgery. Now, there's probably a certain misconception where people hear just the phrase robotic surgery. It's a human doing the surgery. He's just got a tool that's called a robot. I've had people come into the office to talk about having their operations performed robotically assisted, and they say to me, well, what are you going to be doing? One of the most important things that I think people should understand about the Da Vinci surgical system is that it is still directed and guided by a surgeon. Almost anything you can do laparoscopically, you can do robotically. In my specialty, you always like to have a real crisp picture of anatomy. The robot allows us to see everything that we're doing in three dimensions as we move them in three dimensions. To give you an example, if I'm trying to dissect behind the stomach or esophagus, which in two dimensions can be extremely difficult, using the Da Vinci robotic system, I can do that in three dimensions. I can get around corners better. I can see things around small and tight areas better. And overall, it allows me to do things that are very, very fine and precise in a safe manner. The movements that the robotic arms allow are greater than what my hands can perform themselves. If I want my hand to move one of the instruments three centimeters or even three millimeters to the right, it will move precisely that amount of distance. God gave us great hands and we can do a lot of different things. We can pinch, we can bend, rotate. The ability of our robotic instruments with Da Vinci is just phenomenal. So I've done robotic colon resections, single incision uh, gallbladders, which uh, I still think is amazing. For reflux disease, I can perform anti-reflux surgery on the stomach and esophagus, any sorts of hernias, whether it be on the abdominal wall or in the, in the groin, I can perform hernia repairs with the robot. What the robot allows me to do is perform an operation that could not be performed without a big incision. Me? No, I'm, I'm no superhero. I do get a sense of accomplishment, uh, of, of joy when patients uh, do well, when they feel better. No, I'm not a superhero.